Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day, and uh, it's a Tuesday. I hope that this day finds you really healthy and happy because we're talking about Genesis 23, which is the story of Sarah's death. Now, Sarah, we're talking about Abraham's wife, the, the mother of the nation of Israel, if you will, because Isaac was born to her and, and through Isaac, Jacob, and Jacob, and he became Israel and all his kids. So, so we're talking about someone who uh, was a historical figure that God used to birth a nation and bring Messiah to us. But she got old and she died at 127 years old. And this, and this is significant because, like I said, we're, we're talking about something that's historical, but we're also talking about something that applies to us because, like Sarah, we're all going to have to face death. <laughs> I know. Good morning. Hope this is encouraging. But hopefully, it, uh, at least for me, I don't want to live to be 127 years, uh, okay? I, I hope that God takes me home way before that. So what's the truth in that for us. You read this story, you hear about the details about where Abraham purchased land to bury Sarah, and, and that's you know still land where they can identify the general area it's in today in Israel. Uh, but what does that mean for us? Well, death is going to come to us all. Scripture says it's a point unto man once to die and then to face judgment. So the word for us is simply this, be ready. Be ready. Don't be unprepared for what you know is going to come. Be ready financially and medically. Look, we're always encouraging people. You need to have uh, a will that, that says what you want done. Uh, look, if you're a family with kids at home, you need to have a will saying what happens if both of you uh, end up dying at the same time because you want someone to take care of the kids, not let the state decide who gets to do that. You need to be prepared uh, financially with life insurance if you got kids at home. You need to be prepared uh, medically so that you have your directives in place so they know that your wishes are followed and you don't burden your family with that pain of having to decide what to do because they love you and they don't want you to go anywhere, even if you're completely incapacitated. So be ready. Be ready relationally. Can I, can I encourage you to live in a way that you make peace with your enemies in real time? And you might say, I don't have enemies, but you have people that annoy you, irritate you, people that relationships are broken. Can, can I encourage you just to, to go and make peace as far as it's possible with you? Uh, make peace with uh, your children. And I know a lot of people who really struggle to get along with their adult children, and it stems back to things that happened, you know, when the kids were young or when they were young, and, and there's brokenness there, but just apologize. Even if it's not all your fault. I know it's not all your fault, but even if one little piece of it is your fault, go ahead and apologize because the relationship is more important than being right. And, and here's the thing. If, if they die before you, you'll feel regret that you didn't make peace. And if you die and you haven't made peace, they're going to live with that regret and it's going to haunt them and torment them. So make peace. Look, love your family the best way that you can. Bless your children. Bless your grandchildren the best that you can. Be ready. And then, of course, most importantly, be ready spiritually. Be ready spiritually, because it's a point in a man wants to die, and then judgment. We're all going to give an account to God, and the only hope we have is to know Jesus as our Savior and Lord. I mean, Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. Okay, but you've got to believe in Jesus to have eternal life. The Apostle Paul put it this way in Romans 10. He said, if we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we'll be saved. I want you to confess. I want you to believe because I want you to experience heaven. I want you to be ready. And by the way, if you're not ready and you know it, would you contact us? We would love to talk with you, pray with you, help you to make certain that you are spiritually ready for next. Whatever you need to do, you know that death is coming one day. So please be ready. I hope this helps and I hope it blesses you. Have a great day, Calvary.